There we go. Got him. All right. Finally. Third attempt. I finally got him. Little spotted bass. I just didn't want to catch nothing but picker. It gets kind of boring. I want to add a little variety at least. I knew there'd be something in that gutter below me. Oh boy. Finally got one guy. Little spot of bass with orange eyes. Guys, I'm finally on my first fish of the day on the half ounce Booyah spinnerbait. It's a little 13 inch pickerel. Well, he barely bit it too. I thought I was hung up in those weeds and, I, and then it just barely pulled where I could tell it was a fish. Nice one. Yeah. He's about 15. Got him on the chartreuse and white double willow blade booyah spinnerbait. He might be he might be 16. All right, guys, not too bad of a pickerel. A little thin male. It's about 16. It's a, well, when it's the only fish of the day so far, it's. I'm happy to get something. I, I just said to uh -huh. Virgil a minute ago, I said I want, I'd be happy to get one. Wait a minute. Make sure. Oops. Wait a minute. I guess I'm going to get him back in. I'm measuring it without the fish. I, I marked it. Here, I marked it. That's what I'm saying. He was 18. It was 18. 18 inches. It's not too bad. I got my second fish of the day. Unfortunately, as a pickerel, I was thinking it was a big crappie because I was using a Bobby Garland and it just barely bit. I thought it was a crappie until it was three quarters of the way in. It was kind of a disappointment. He's not terrible. Not <sighs> little chain pickerel on the orange dream sickle Bobby Garland, guys. Let go, let go, there you go. All right, guys, a little 15 incher. What had me fooled? I thought I had a slab because Wilma seen one over here earlier. Came to the top chasing her lure, and we're trying like hell to try to get that slab. It was a two pound plus. <sighs> Folks, I just caught a largemouth on a half ounce Booyah spinnerbait, chartreuse and white. We have been absolutely stumped today as far as getting him to bite. He nipped at it twice. I thought I was about to get hung and then he latched on there. I've caught two and Anthony's caught two. And that's all we've caught. And this is the biggest one of the day and he's only about a pound. Uh, maybe 13 inch. All right. Hey. Something.
That helps. Oh, uh, right when you get there and right when you leave. There's a beaver, one of them holes like you talked about again. Look, that thing's big. Well, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> it's not bad for in here. Good fish for this place. <laughs> It looks like it's going to be the catch of the day because we got about 10 or 15 minutes. It's a nice large mouth, big pre spawn, big pot belly on her. Good job, hun. She outfished me today, guys. Three to nothing so far. Okay. Got a bass right at dark on the spinner bait right underneath the bridge. Not a bad little guy. It's actually another real large mouth, too. He was a fighter too. He was real shallow, about two feet of water, about a pound and a quarter, something like that. Not huge, but she caught five fish to my nine. So I was wondering what the heck I was doing wrong, just using the wrong thing at the wrong time, I guess. All right, hey, at least I did catch a fish right at the end. I can barely see. Let's see if I can get another one. I like filming the fight too. <laughs> Alright guys, I got something pretty decent here. I don't know what I got yet. It bit like a little baby, but boy when I set that hook I changed my mind real quick. It's it's a good five pound fish or bigger, whatever it is. Boy, it's just running and running. Boy, I hope it don't get me hung. Yep. I just want to keep it high because I don't want it getting on me on that rock or something. You want to come over and watch? Got something real big. It's acting like a carp or something or about the way it's running. I think that's what it is. It ain't doing circles like a catfish would. It definitely ain't a gar because it would have been on top by now. I got either an Asian carp or a carp or a buffalo. Actually, a buffalo would be fighting harder than this. It's acting like a straight, regular carp. I mean, it's my guess, a carp. You know what else I did dumb? Oh, it's a gigantic drum. Like eight or nine pounds. I got a tip net in the car. A lot of good it's doing in it. Oh my goodness, man. Oh, he's he might go 10 pounds. That's a decent one. Man, that's a big, how do you put her out so quick? I wonder. Boy, oh, that line's right on his fins. He gave up, he gave up, didn't he? Oh yeah, thank you, bud. This guy saved the day. <laughs> Guys, I just caught a giant drum here on a red wiggler worm of all things. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I like this place already. I was way off. It ain't a car. <laughs> wow. Man, he is pretty big. Yeah. He should have fought harder than that for his size. He kind of puttered out there at the end. He didn't even, he just gave up. Once I got him off that wall down there, he just quit. Oh my goodness. You want to keep him? Uh, you can have it if you want it. I don't Oh, okay, I don't either. Man. We got too much stuff in the car, and the cooler's already full of drinks. Look at that, guys. He's heavier than I thought. Yeah, man. He's a full 10 at least, That's isn't he? That's a good catch. Man. I tell you what, you want, can you take this off my head and just show me? It's already recording. Yeah, that way it shows actually me holding it. Hold on, I'll take it off, so. You just gotta, I got you. there you go, yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna get her back in. Man. So she can see another day. <laughs> it is a nice fish. We're trying this place for the first time. Luckily, this guy was here to help me out, help me understand it. Man. Yeah. Look at that. Got to be patient. You'll get one. Because before you come down, they were giant.
jumping over there like crazy. Yep. That's crazy, man. Hey, man, he's, I guess, stressed out. Oh, yeah, he'll go back. I promise you, he'll go back. <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll take him just a little bit of time, but he will go back. That was cool to get on film anyway. Oh, yeah, he'll be all right. <laughs> around with I the appreciate dish net. it. She's seen these baby fish below this dam. Now, I really thought they were gar. Cool. That is a grass pickerel. I haven't caught one since I lived in Tennessee on a rod and reel. But that is a baby grass pickerel. Sure is. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a grass pickerel? Mm-hmm. They only get about... They're, they're not even half the size of the chain pickerel. They're real small. Oh. They, they get big enough to catch, but they ain't okay. giant. Like, they don't get five pounds. They might get like one pound or a little bigger. I don't know. Guys, I believe I at least tied my personal best for yellow bullhead. I got my personal best in this exact same spot last year about this same time. I want you to show a picture of me holding it here in a second. God, he's a fighter too, Big man. Fuck. Yeah. Let me wash it. Is it good to eat? No. Why? I don't know, because they're too oily. <laughs> Gosh. It's about 11, maybe 12. Mm. Yeah. That's the biggest bullhead. <laughs> Once again, I'm cutting it and just not fixing it back up. It's already 7:10 anyway. There we go. Oh yeah, yes. All right. On the bandit, guys. A little spotted. Oh, I can just tell I ain't got much time at all. stream. Gosh. And here comes the rain. I missed two flatheads. I'm still sitting here catching flathead bait and I do believe I just caught if not at least dang close to my personal best long ear. He is eight inches long. I can tell by how my hand goes around it. I've never caught a long ear like this since I was a kid since I was probably 15 years old. An eight inch long-eared sunfish. It is absolutely huge for that kind. He is, as long as my hand, he's seven inches, because I got from the tip of my middle finger to my wrist is seven. It's still big for a long ear, wow. Goodness gracious. I knew he wasn't a, a little one as soon as I hooked it. Could just, I got her pole that's been hung up in a bush for 30 minutes and I pulled it right out. Nice little channel cat. Not bad at all. A little farm pond size. It's not bad. You're probably going to have to give you the damn pliers, I can already tell. 
That's where I always get fish, right where you're at. Right away, man. As soon as it hit the water. Oh my god. As soon as it hit the water. Oh man. Told you this lure told you this lure would work. Nice bass, guys. Nice little oh 13 inch or so large mouth. I got him on a black and purple BM two inch curly tail. With a chartreuse tail and a chartreuse head, this water's really dingy. So I went with dark. Good God. Calm down, bud. I'll let you go. Uh, it didn't take no time. Did you see that? How quick it was? Here. Well, guys, this is a good sign that we're going to catch some fish this evening. We decided we better fish before it rains for five days straight. Nice little large mouth. They just stack up in here when it's real hot because of that current. It's the only place in this whole area with current going through. So they just pile in here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Got him. Now this is a crappie. Oh, and it's a big one. Man, 90 degrees, guys. Middle of the day. It's four in the afternoon. All right, nice white crappie. Man. I'm going to show you guys what I caught this on. It's something new I'm using. At least half of it is. You've seen the lure before, but I'm trying these new jig heads. And uh, all right, what we got here is, it's a Berkeley Firetail Grub, but I'm using a Moon Eye, VMC Moon Eye Jig Head. It's 1 8 ounce. It's also Fire Tiger, yellow, orange, and green. 1 8 ounce. It's got big eyes on the side. VMC Moon Eye. Very expensive. $10 for four of them. Nice little white crappie gonna complain so I did have a crappie that first hit and then I threw it back the second time and the gar got on there that's not bad at all guys about eight or nine inches There we go. Yeah, nice crappie. All right, guys, my biggest one out of here. About 10 inches. What do you know? Good ending for the day. Any minute now, I gotta take off. I don't wanna get stuck on this farmer's field if it starts raining. Not bad, guys. Biggest one out of this lake so far. All right, hey, there is some. There's a lot of small ones. But they are mixed, so you just gotta thin through them sometimes, guys. That's awesome. Only because it's getting ready to rain. I bet that's the only reason I even caught him.